Broome is without question one of the hardest places to launch a boat in WA. There are several ramps dotted around the town, but the massive tides have brought many tourists undone. It's not uncommon to see a car that was parked at low tide being winched up the beach full of water after only six hours. The chances of fish being caught in the car along with the water are quite remote, so we don't recommend this form of fishing. Once out in the bay, the tides make the water very cloudy, but some species of fish have adapted and thrive in these conditions. Well, this is a pretty civilised way to start the day, Marshy. Certainly is. The only way to fish over here, little tiny shallow lures, and just put put along and you never know what's going to happen here. We're at Crab Creek, which is on the other side of Roebuck Bay, which is the big bay outside of Broome. And today we're after threadfin salmon. Yep, mate, if you catch one of them, I tell you what, it's going to go off. The water's only about 50 centimetres deep, and it's like a carton of chalk milk's been poured in. In fact, lots of cartons of chalk milk. Yeah. But if it goes off, it's some of the most exciting fishing you'll ever do. So I reckon we'll just sit back, relax, and wait for the fish to show up, eh? Sounds good to me. Now this is really simple fishing. We're doing what's called trolling, which is driving along towing some lures. I've got a double here on my main line and a swivel, and that's a 40 pound leader, coated mono, so there's a little bit of abrasion resistance. And look at that, that's a lure that's had a bit of work. It's a Nils Master spearhead, even the hooks are rusty. Marshy's had good success on this, so he's <laughs> loaned it to me for the morning. And we're just gonna plop him out the back and run it about, I don't know, two or three knots. It'll be easier. Marshy decided to stop for a bit of bait fishing once he saw the birds were working, but he was soon sorry that he did. See, you still did touch it too early, didn't you? No. Here you go. Nah, you missed him. Does it feel about? Yeah, you missed him. What does he know? Oh, alright. You don't know anything, do you? What is it? It's not very big. It's probably a catfish! Catfish! Yay! Now, Although we joke about catfish, there's a serious side to them, and I'll tell you all about it. I'll take my Maui's off. It's very serious if you jam it in your fingers. There is. Now, with these fish, you've got to be really, really careful. I've had one in the finger, and I do not want another one. And with these fins, I never bring them past the gunnels of the boat, because this fin here, that one there, and that one, see how I can tap that fin? They're totally locked out. Locked out, totally. And if you get one of those in the finger, I'll tell you what, it's pretty serious. Now, a lot of people flip these fish off. And what I do is this. Hooks cost nothing. Ruining your day costs a lot. I soon let him have the hook. That hook's going to disappear. Still got my sinker. Just put another hook on. Now, we've just given up our trolling because we've seen a flock of birds here circling. It's what we call working. What they're probably doing is waiting for the scraps that fish have cut into when they're eating the bait fish. They'll float up and the birds will get all the little bits and pieces. So we're going to chuck a white jig in here and see what happens. Getting hits, getting hits. I'm on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Go. Not a bad fish either. Hey. There you go. You want to work under that working school of birds? Could be a little queen fish, it hasn't come out of the water. What do you reckon, Marshy? A little salmon, maybe? Yeah, could be a little blue nose. This is so exciting, this sort of fishing. I've only got a light leader here. Find out what it is. But the water's so cloudy, I can't even see it. Here we go. Little salmon. Is it a little salmon? It is, yeah. A little blue nose. Look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. See? White jigs, eh? You can't go wrong, mate. You certainly can't in the Kimberley. Always have a white jig. Oh, he's gone all sorts of ways, except where I want him. Come on, you'll be right, mate. Beautiful little fish here. Now, they call these a blue nose salmon here in Broome. He hasn't really got a blue nose, but uh, that's what they are. And you see the little barbels under there that we talked about earlier? That's what they use to feel about in this dirty water. They're not very hardy, so I'll pop him back in the water quickly. I'll just treat them gently if you're going to have a bit of catch and release. He's all right. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, yes, he's hit that. Now I've got baits on. And he's right close to the boat. He's quite a docile fish, actually. For a salmon. Yes. That's 
a bit of size though. Yeah, there's probably thousands of them here. They're awesome, I love salmon. Oh, that's a good one. Still got me bait. I'll be laughing. They've got such a big mouth. I'll show you their mouth in a minute. They've actually got no teeth. What they have got is this great big mouth. And on here, this is like real sandpaper. That's why you need a bit of a leader. And you get these little dings. Oh, things like that. And they're that quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just that quick. Stick around because next the salmon really start to fire up. Whoa, it's a salmon and he's coming out of the water. <laughs> Here. The schools move around quickly, so you have to be prepared to move around and wait for them to pop up next. Oh, they're going to hit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, another hit. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. They're chasing it across the bottom. Watch this. They've worked out. There's a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, he's on. There's a lot of them out there. Oh, they'll get a stationary lure. <laughs> <laughs> That's how hungry they are. Now we've got a double going. This one's fighting a bit better, mate. Yeah, and this one too. Who are you? Um, oh no. <laughs> Under me. Under. That's a caddy. He's a really dark catfish. That's yeah. the darkest catfish I've ever seen. You can have him, he's your friend. Look at that. That's amazing. I'll let you play that. With that. Rages, <laughs> <laughs> he's all yours. You keep away from my foot. Meanwhile, I'm doing laps at the That's back here. That's incredible. Look how dark he is. He's like almost a bronzy colour. Now, as with catfish, we can certainly keep the hook, Mr. Catfish, because... Woo! Well, this is a strong salmon, this one. Look at this, he's doing laps. Once stung, never forget me. <laughs> never. I'm telling you. Woo! These are great fun. And they're so aggressive now, they're hitting those stationary lures. Anything that hits the water, they're feeding on. They are. Quite a net, this one. Feels like a good fish. There's a tail. Ooh. Come on. Could be a thready. I'm sick of doing laps. Now he's just about done. Oh, he's a, a nice one. That's a lovely fish, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just have a look at that in the water. Isn't that fantastic? There's nothing they're going to hurt you, so if you grab it by the lure. That's the safest way of doing it. That way you're not going to break your leader. Just grab him here is fine. They've got very soft flesh. So don't be too rough with them. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? A real predator. A big eye. Electronic impulses go through those barbels and that's how they hunt. And such a spirited performer. See you later. This is great fun, Marshy. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Whoa, it's a salmon and he's coming out of the water. Ah. That rod nice and high. Oh, he's going for a burst. You can get him to come up for you. You're done there, mate. He's wolfed that crystal minnow. Barbless hooks. I'm going to have a big gob. And watch this. Beauty of barbless hooks. Come on. Here's out comes the lure. <laughs> Didn't lose the fish. Marshy's on another fish, so I'll get this one back in the water. Ooh. See ya. How you doing there, Marshy? Yeah, he knows he's up now. Bit of a salmon? Oh, yes. Oh, oh that's a beauty. <laughs> on some bait, too. I don't think he's quite done yet. I'm a bit nervous about this one. That's a nice fish. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, there's a lot about here. Come on. Ooh, come on. See, I told you he wasn't done. No. <laughs> these are great. I could catch these all day. Oh, no. What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Lua. That crystal minnow swam really well. Go on, me old mate. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, gotcha. Whoa! <laughs> this thing's going off. That's, that's a, a huge one, isn't it? Oh, now he's just seen the boat. <laughs> that's a nice fish. That's a good one, mate. Keep him out of that running gear. Oh, yes. 
Oh. Now he's off. This is just going off now. Now he's off. Look at this one. This is a beauty. This is a nice one. Oh. Little bit. Have a look at that, yeah. What a beauty thread fin. Whoa. It's all jeez, mate, what do you got? Come on. That's where the barbless hooks are great because we'll just get that hook straight out, pop him back in, and while they're friends in, we can have as much fun as we want. It's mine. That is a nice fish, Marshy. They're ta look, they're taking stationary lures now. Feeling with those barbels in the in the mud. <laughs> Change. <laughs> and they'll, they'll grab lead heads. No bait. Oh, lost him. My goodness, now it's just happening everywhere. What are you doing with that thing? Oh, he's just going around around the boat. I don't know. Come on. Is it actually a thread? It's, it's definitely a salmon. Is it? Oh, yeah. I need the net for this one. Do you, mate? All right, yeah. I'll help you out. Okay, just need the net. Oh, that is me. nice. Oh, now, yeah. As soon as he sees the net, he's going to... Now, see, I'm going to keep the net out of Marshy's way here. Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> for a blue nose, that is a corker. Now, swim the fish into the net, just like that. That's how you net fish. Thank you very much. No problem. He's all yours. That, good effort, mate. That's a beauty. He's a beauty. He is indeed. They're so slimy, though. <laughs> I'll just grab this bit of towel. So I stop pulling the scales off him. You can grip him a lot better. That's good. Oh, that's a beauty, mate. Well done. He's took that right down so I can get that out of him because he's quite big. Oh. You can see how slimy they are all over my jacket. <laughs> there you go. All right. Beautiful salmon, that one. Oh, <laughs> he knew where it was time to go, didn't he? Didn't take long. I think my jacket needs a wash. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Are you reckon marshy catfish or salmon? Oh, we're going to find out. It's got a bit of weight. That has got a bit of weight, actually. It's probably a big caddy. <laughs> Caddy, we're going home. He's not tearing around. <laughs> Dang. Caddy. Well, Marshy, I think the catfish have moved in. The tide's all wrong now for the salmon. It is. There you go. There's <laughs> one more catfish returned with your hook. Oh. Creek fishing in Broome, mate, as a local, you certainly do have a good time here. It's a way of life, isn't it? It is, and salmon fishing is pretty much on the agenda all year round. It's awesome. It's fantastic fun on light tackle. I've had a ball. Thanks for bringing me here. No worries. Time to go home and sit in the sun. Okay.